Now shifting our focus to UAE, the fight to be an AI superpower is still anyone's game, but the UAE is for certain poised to disrupt it. The Emirates is aiming to transform its image on the world stage. It wants to be the leading tech supplier of Global South. We decode the UAE's ambitions and its recent steps in that direction. The United Arab Emirates is making sure it does not miss a big breakthrough once again. It is leaving no stone unturned to tap into the power of artificial intelligence. Just this week, the UAE launched 100 cutting-edge AI applications. These applications focused on the generative AI with an aim to streamline and accelerate tasks for individuals in different media sectors. The latest unveil falls in line with the Emirates' latest push to disrupt the AI sector. The UAE wants to transform itself into the world leader via the means of artificial intelligence. UAE's AI minister Omar Sultan al Olama says the country wants to be a leading tech supplier of the Global South and with that increase its ability to diverge from American foreign policy. Speaking exclusively to Axios, al Olama said he is driven by the fear of missing out. He said the only people in the world that banned the printing press was the Arab Muslim Empire because they feared the unknown. al Olama believes the world is standing at the same stage once again and they will not make the same mistake again. The Emirati minister believes AI, if used properly, can help improve quality of life. With its deep pockets powered by crude, the UAE does not need any private investors for its AI program. Most of it is state-run. The country is even making sure that its future generation is ready for what is to come. For the last five years, Emirati officials have been getting specialized AI training from Oxford University. The government, meanwhile, runs special camps for students to teach them the good and bad of technology. But there is one place where the UAE lads is gender parity. Almost all members of its AI council are men. Although the country might see no need now, it will in future realize the benefits of diverse perspective be it women, foreign players, or even investors. 